Welcome to the Voyage short. In this one I actually intend to cover just the dilithium market. One of my friends is having a somewhat interesting, well not interesting, he's having trouble understanding how I know when the dilithium market is going to go up or down. Alright, the first thing you have to notice, the first thing you have to know is the dilithium market has two primary forces acting on it. On um, both buying and selling Zen. And people who do not know, the dilithium exchange is a place where you can ha where you can exchange dilithium, a currency in game, for Zen, a currency you'd normally have to buy. As you can see the lowest available bracket is one Zen is equal to two hundred of uh, yeah two hundred and four dilithium points. And as you see here I have two hundred dilithium points up for offer for two hundred and nine Zen. What this essentially means is I will not pay any more than two hundred dilithium for a Zen. Now when you come into the exchange, you're going to have two forces at play on each side. You're going to have the I want it now group, and you're going to have the I'm going to try to get an edge group. I am part of the I want to try to get an edge group every time I buy or sell Zen. The I want it now group is similar to this. Uh, one Zen point is 204 dilithium points, so I will submit an offer to buy one Zen for 205 dilithium points. That means I will not, I do not want to spend any more than 205 dilithium points for the one Zen. If I submit this offer to buy it'll take it out of here as you see I have one dilithium left over because it'll automatically give you the best offer available I said I, did, I, said I did not want to pay any more than 205 but it, the system went oh look an, uh, an offer for 204 came up it's less than that I'll buy it and then all I'm left with is to withdraw now what actually drives the for the market force itself is not the I want to get an edge group, it's the I want it now group. As you saw, I managed to get one Zen point relatively quickly. Instant satisfaction. Let's go through the Delithium store. Let's say I want a Tholian lockbox. I've already got a bunch of them, but let's just say I want one. Alright. I'm going to come over here to sell Zen, and I'm going to go, I want... I want to sell for 200 dilithium points, and everybody watching, yes, I know I'm losing some. And I only want to sell one Zen. The exact same concept applies it will actually sell it at 203 so let's submit this offer two hundred and three I got from it so I've only lost one dilithium point in that little exchange so I'm not worried now usually the I want it now they buy a crowd they buy more than just one so, for a while, back just a few months ago, right after Free to Play came out, the exchange was extremely stable at 194, I think it was, dilithium points per Zen. And then, a bundle came out. The Odyssey Pack and the Bortoscu Pack came out. 
Also, their individual ships came out. What did that do? Well, that went in, that caused a lot of people that otherwise could not buy it because it is a $50 bundle to come into here and go, I need Zen. I have, I have to get $50 worth of Zen. At current exchange rates, that's, oh, wow, whoops. I have to get $50 worth of Zen. At current exchange rates, that is 1,200,000 dilithium points. So that wound up just driving up the price because they bought out all the low value ones, which caused the demand for that low value one and it started slowly and sl slowly driving up the exchange with at the time the dilithium store was still being populated I didn't think it'd take me that long was still being populated with stuff it didn't have too many great items in it yet so there was hardly any I want to buy the Dilithium Now group, which just drove the price, well at the time it was C points, but it's still a similar concept. It drove the price of C points straight through the roof. As I recall, it actually peaked at 300 Dilithium points until the first week of its release was over. And then we had a nice week of an unstable Dilithium market. and to in which it stabilized at I, I want to say 270 where it has been where it was climbing ever since now I don't know how much this exchange was when they converted over to Zen I know they scaled over all the current offers to be equal to what they would have been before since one Zen does not necessarily equal one C point It was 80 zen or 80 cents per one, uh, 100 C points, so. Oh, correction, it was 100 zen per 80 C points, so a dollar per 80 C points. Now what's caused the price of the exchange to drop, and it's been dropping ever since? Well, when they introduced star bases. Let's see if there's any projects that take it. Ah, as you see the, a lot of star base projects have a demand for dilithium which causes the I want it now group to be selling Zen. They need 1800 dilithium so what we would tend to do is go, I want eight to get, oh, I'm sorry, 18,000. 18,000. At the current exchange rates, I'd need to sell 89 Zen and I'd have 67 points left over. But let's say I wanted to offer it at a higher price. It would still give me all the rates. Let's see if I can. I have to sell 88 Zen at 205. And I'd still have 40 uh, dilithium points left over. I could submit that offer to sell. Doubt it will. And just like the stock market if I went okay I don't want to sell this particular stock anymore I just cancel the offer there's just no fees unlike a stockbroker <laughs> well I hope that answered some of the questions which is just basics on um, supply and demand really same thing at the store you know demand is higher than supply well the supplies price is gonna go up if demand is less than supply, then the supply's price can drop. 
all right I hope that answered that question and for people that are going to ask about my uniform change that's actually something I do a lot I get bored with my uniform relatively quickly I don't feel like getting any new uniform slots so I just go to a tailor spend the 700 energy credits on a whole new uniform all right see you on Monday when with my next show on the powers